Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Roman numerals. In this tutorial we're going to go through Roman numerals up to 500. Now we're going to begin with by simply writing down the Roman numerals from 1 to 10. Those are our numbers 1 to 10. Let's write down the Roman numerals. So 1 is I, 2 is I, I, 3 is, we put 3 of them down. I'm going through this quickly because we've done this so often before. Number 4 is 1 before 5 or 1 less than 5. 5 is V, 6 is 5 and 1, that's 6. 7 is V, I, I, 8 is V, I, 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 9 is 1 before 10 or less than 10 which is I, X and 10 is X. So we've done the units now from 1 to 10. Now we're going to do the tens. There we go, we've got the tens from 10 to 100. So let's write these down. So what is 10 in Roman numerals? Well, we've just done that, that is X. 20 is X, X. 30 is 3x's, 10, 20, 30. 40 is 10 before 50, XL is 40. 50 is L, 60 is LX, 70 is LXX, 80 LXXX. 90 is 10 before 100 and 100 is C. So we've now done the Roman numerals from 10 to 100 in tens. And now we're going to go through the Roman numerals in hundreds from 100 to 500. So what is 100 in Roman numerals? Well we know that the answer is C. 200 is C C. It's 100 and another 100. 300 is C, C, C. So 3 C's is 300. Now before we do 400, we're going to do 500. And we're going to introduce a new letter in the Roman numerals. 500 is D. 500 is D. So 400 is 100 less than or before 500. Let's just make a note of that. So 400 is 100 less than or you can say before 500. Therefore it is CD. Now you should be able to do the first two columns. Practice writing the hundreds from 100 to 500. Now before we finish with this introduction, let's uh, have a crack at answering or looking at two Roman numerals and seeing whether we can work out what number they represent. So let's write it down here. I'm just going to change colors for this. So we've got C, 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 X, X, V, I. So those are the Roman numerals. C, 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 X, X, V, I. How are we going to work it out? Well, firstly, we start on the left-hand side, and we look at the Cs, and we stop until we come to an X or an L, or even a V or an I. Three C's together, that is 300. Next, we look at the next letter, which is X. How many are there? There are two X's, so that is 20. And lastly, we look at the units, which is V and I. That's 5 and 1 is 6. Therefore, the answer is 326. That was nice and easy, wasn't it?
Okay. Let's see if we can work through one final one. Suppose this time we have the number C, the Roman numeral, I should say, it's C, D, L, X, X, I, X. Now that looks a bit complicated, doesn't it? Well, let's start at the beginning. What do we have? We've got a C and a D. The next one is an L, so we should stop. C, D. What is C, D? That is, let's look up here. That is 400. Next we've got is L, and we keep going until we come to an I or a V. So we've got L, X, X. What is L, X, X? There it is. It is 70. And lastly, we've got I, X. Now we know this I, X is 1 before 10. The answer is 9. So therefore, C, D, L, X, X, I, X is 479. So that is Roman numerals up to 500. Start from the left and work your way across. Look at the first letter of the Roman numerals and work your way across. And with practice, you'll be able to master this.